We're up and running. Well, we're not running. We're not running up here. <laughs> what a cracking morning. It's absolutely fantastic. You see, it's cold, proper cold. So I'm hoping it's going to lead to some nice pictures. If we get the target species, that is. Now, I should... I should be doing this piece to camera when I'm up here and not out of puff. So, but anyway, so we're after black fallow here. Well, we're after out, aren't we? I'm, uh, I'll tell you what. A lot of thrushes about. Lots of thrushes. Blackbirds, field furs, red wings, all the the berry lovers are out and there's a lot of berries an unbelievable amount of hawthorn berries it'd be nice to get a few thrushes today right let's get up top of this hill and have a breather <laughs> Right, that's better folks, we're on the flat and this place is something else, it's absolutely fantastic, it's so atmospheric with this frost and the mist. Now I mentioned before about the, the black fallow or melanistic fallow deer which basically means they haven't got that pale pigmentation, they're really dark. And I think, I don't know, I prefer them. I prefer them to the, the normal fallow deer with the spots on. I don't know, there's just something cool about them. I'm just lucky now actually, there's, there's some up on the hillside. I'm just gonna get, get down here. Keep my profile out of, out of sight. I'll tell you what, let's have a minute. Oh, right. So, it's, I don't want to describe it as a deer park, but I suppose it is really. Now, this area of land where we are, it, it kind of skirts around the, the location where they are these deer. They're in the, the grounds of a, a stately home, but it's, it's not like a, any deer park I've seen before, it's wild and I weren't, I weren't going to come down and do a recce, but yesterday I had a couple of hours, the weather booked up a bit, so I don't usually like going to places like cold, if you will, doing a full photography session. I like to go and suss it out. So I had two hours yesterday when I came down, probably, I don't know, I came down about one in the afternoon and I just wanted to get a feel of the place because it's, it's quite a big spread. It's like 300 acres, this place. And I'm not 100% sure whereabouts you can go. I know there's a public footpath goes through it, but I don't think you can go off, you know, mooching, mooching around, which is what I like to do. So I came down, got a, got a feel for the place, and I'm glad I did, to be honest, because there were a couple of places that, that kind of piqued my interest. Now, I mentioned on the walk up, there's a lot of, lot of hawthorn berries, and there's a lot of mistletoe as well, which I've, 
I've never really seen a lot of mistletoe before. It's a strange species, an invasive plant species that grows on other trees. And I was doing a bit of research last night about it. And funnily enough, mistle thrushes, red caps, not red caps, red caps, black caps. Well, there's not going to be any of them about. But mistle thrushes may be, there's red wings, field furs. And as I said, I came down yesterday and I'm really glad I did. I saw an amazing amount of species. I saw green woodpecker, I saw raven, jay, couple of sparrow hawks, buzzard, red kite. Um, what else did I see? Anyway, red, uh, red wings, field furs, uh, song thrushes, blackbirds. So there's a lot of stuff about, a lot of potential. But I also found the the falladeer, the black falladeer, and I couldn't believe how how twitchy they are. And I, I go as far as to say they're harder to get close to than the the raw deer that I photographed back up in Langs. When you hear of people photographing on on deer parks, it's relatively easy. You know, you see pictures of people walking past these herds, and they, they don't they don't bat an eyelid. But these flipping egg. They were proper on it. As soon as they got a, a look, they were off. And they, they're quite big big herds as well. So all the hinds are together. I've seen a couple of um, solitary bucks about, which is what I want to try and photograph, really. I mean, I'm not bothered. I'll, photo, you know, I'll photograph out, but uh, if we can get some of them bucks. Now, yesterday, I had, me, I had me stalking head on, and I managed to get quite close to one of the bucks, surprisingly close, and... He was he was after the hawthorn berry. I think he was that focused on these hawthorns that he didn't really he didn't really suss that I were I were creeping up on him. And the first thing I saw was these amazing big flat antlers that they have. And he was he kept rearing up and, and trying to drag the hawthorns down with his antlers and it was fantastic. I got a few shots that I was quite pleased with to be honest. And I think the thing is with a deer park. Maybe not so much with this one because there's a lot of lot of wilderness, if you will, and it, it looks really wild. It's getting those shots where it doesn't look like it's on a deer park. So I was concentrating on some close-ups, you know. But again, it can be a little bit difficult with deer species. Not so bad with raw deer because of how small they are and how small their antlers are. But especially with reds and with fallows as well, especially with the bucks and the stags, because their antlers are so big, it's difficult to, to compose that image. So you either end up doing a more like a an habitat shot where you see the full deer on the, you know, like a profile shot, or you end up cropping part of the part of the animal off. So it's a tough one really. Um, like I said, raw deer, especially raw deer bucks, they lend themselves to a portrait shot because of the the way their antlers, they're only they're only small stubby antlers, but these these stags and the uh, the bucks with those big antlers, they're they're difficult to photograph. So we're just going to try a few different, you know, uh, like abstract shots, if you will, and close up. So, but the first thing we've got to do is get up close to these these animals, these deer. Now, as I said before, I can just see a, a herd of them on the on the hillside there. So I identified a spot yesterday. I'm going to go down and, and sit down. We're going to get some camo gear on. You know, we like the old camo, put everything in our favour. No deodorant on this morning. Everything is still though. That's the, that's the only issue I've got today. It's always favourable when you're photographing deer to have a bit of a breeze. And, um, you know, you can get the right side of the wind. So, it's one of them. But this location that I picked up on, there's a lot of berry trees. There's a lot of hawthorns. So, if I get nestled down, get camoed up, maybe the deer will come along, but hopefully maybe those winter thrushes will come along as well, so let's go and see what we can get. Folks, right. I've had a I've had a fair wander around to be honest, and 
I keep coming back to this little spot here. So I'm gonna, the tactic is bed down. I'm gonna bed myself down, get some camo on. We're going all in today. We're gonna put the full Monty on, I think, because these, these deer are really twitchy. It's almost like a, a little natural amphitheater, this spot here. I've got a bit of, bit of cover behind me. And I've got, let me spin you around. There we go. So, I've got kind of a 180 degree vista there. With plenty of, plenty of hawthorn berries. Bit of mistletoe knocking about. But there's some thick cover there and I'm thinking that the deer might come down off the hill. So if I'm just sat in here, get the mat down, get concealed up, get all the pink bits covered up and we'll give it a do, eh? I think there's a good chance we might get some. I've just seen a sparrow. Oh, there's a buzzer just going over now. There's nowhere he's going to land around here though. But yeah, let's give it a do. Well, we've just had a move, folks. I give it, I don't know, I give it half an hour at that last place and I just, uh, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it really. We were a little bit exposed to be honest. I was kind of maybe edging my bets more for the deer, but there's so many winter thrushes about at the moment. I'm going to try and target them. I see a lot of, a lot of red wings and field fairs about. Now this position that I'm in now, I've got a lot of cover at my back. I'm in a bit of a natural hollow. So let me just uh, spin you around. There you go. So you can see just there, there's a big bank of hawthorns, tons of berries on. You know, just a blackbird in there, red wings, field furs all knocking about. And then in front of here, there's this big, patch of hawthorn again and then up here as well but the problem is there's just so much for them to, to go at it really is potluck to be honest I know you make your own luck to a degree you know getting bedded in getting concealed you've, you've better chances but there's <laughs> there's literally thousands of hawthorn bushes and a gazillion berries on every one so it's just, I don't know, it don't matter, does it? We're out here enjoying myself, that's the main thing, isn't it? This mist isn't helping. There's banks of mist keep coming in. Oh, there's a big field fur just landed right above me. But the thing is that that twitchy, when one lands, you're better off just ignoring it. Don't bother, just let it settle, and hopefully a few more will come in. There's some seriously big flocks knocking about. See, it just flitted off. I never even moved, and it's flitted off straight away. So, I like it, it's a good spot. You never know, one of them deer might just come wandering down the track. There's a bit of blue sky coming as well. You see up there, it's just, just clearing a bit, which is lovely. We might get a bit of good light. So, fingers crossed.
again. I've been watching these these three bushes down here. Well, there's a row of them. Let me try and spin you around again. There we go. This this row here. Now, the light on them is absolutely bang on at the moment. They're not coming in here as much, but those bushes down there, they're absolutely thick with berries. They're laden. But I don't I don't want to be looking up at them. I, don't, I want to try and get eye level so there's a bank in here. Whether I can I can get elevated or not, or whether it's too overgrown. So I'm gonna spin you around there. You can see this this bank in here. I want to try and get get in there, but have a view across to those bushes. That's the that's the plan. So I think I'll have a wander down there. We just had a um, feel for, as I said, they're coming in again. Yeah, I'm definitely going to move, stick it out there. Definite chance I'm going to get some shots there. Right. Yeah, as I was saying, I just had a, um, a young fallow, a black fella fawn, just crept in down there on the left, and I was absolutely motionless. I was stone still, and it clocked me, clocked me straight away. Unbelievable how how switched on they are around here. So I got a I got a little bit of footage and a couple of stills, but wow, difficult, really difficult animals to photograph. So let's make that move, see if we can get a bit closer to these birds. an eye out right just decided to ramp it up a bit with the concealment so just using a bit of bracken got me set up here and as you can see Just put a couple of branches down just to give myself a little bit of a almost like a frame if you will and then i've just put some bracken down hopefully that's going to give me it's going to give me enough concealment because these birds are very very wary so Tall pieces in. We're done. Might just give us, might just give us the edge. That's what it's all about. Yeah.
I'll try and keep uh, keep as concealed as I can. It is a tough one today. Wow. Never know birds so skitty. They literally land. You're lucky if you've got five seconds and they bugger off again. Nightmare. I've just seen a fowler buck. Just clambering up that big mound. Massive antlers. Absolute monster of a thing. Whether they get any pictures of him after, I don't know, but we got a few yesterday which I were well suited with. I think we're only a recce mission yesterday. But worth it. I weren't going to bring camera with me. And uh, I'm glad I did now. Oh, it's barky this morning. It's proper good. See that mist keeps rolling in. It won't seem to clear. But, uh, hmm. Whether we're going to get any decent images or not, I'm not sure. But, as you can see, I was uh, using a bit of natural concealment. It's always better to use what's in the natural environment around you. Around here, there's tons of bracken. Absolutely thick with it. If I were using a hide on here, I'd definitely be putting some, you know, some bracken on the actual hide just to blend it in, but as it was, I've not brought a hide with me. And, you know, as good as this stuff is, I just wanted to add a bit to it, so I've just got some some bracken, made a bit of a, well, I <laughs> grabbed a couple of branches, propped them up against the tripod, it's just something for the bracken to lean against. Yeah. And just little things like that can just give you that little edge that you need. Sometimes you only need that one picture, don't you? What a pic... <laughs> I'm not being picky here, but I'd like to get a, a red wing or a field for a blackbird. It doesn't matter, just tossing a berry up and catching it. I don't think it's going to happen. More chance of a frigging elephant coming past, I reckon, but not going to happen. But you never know, do you? You've got to be in it to win it, and we've got a ticket. <laughs> so, we'll have a, what time are we on now? Let's have a look. Five to eleven, so we have a good good few hours. This light stays like this. Thought it was going to be sunny though, it was forecast. A bit of sun to come out. But that's one thing we can't do it about, isn't it? It's certainly a challenge today. It is that. Proper challenge. That's how we like it. It'd be nice for a wax wing to come along, wouldn't it? You know, we're telling you before about all the mistletoe. <laughs> there we go, look at that. I've never seen so much mistletoe in my life. And to be honest, I haven't really seen that much of it up north, but here, it's amazing. Absolutely loads of it. I was reading up about it last night, and it's, it's actually um, a parasitic plant. So when you look at it, it's weird. It kind of is growing off this tree. There's no roots that go down to the ground. I mean, you know, there's a, an hawthorn down there, and it's absolutely, well, if you see it there, or over there, I think it is. Anyway, it's absolutely teeming with it. But when you look at it, it's bizarre. So this is a, this is a hawthorn tree, yeah? And then you see the, the mistletoe, and I don't know, it's just growing... It's growing out of it. It's bizarre. It's weird. And what happens? You know, I don't know. I don't know how many bird species actually feed on it. But what they do when they excrete the berries, or you know, whatever the waste, the uh, the seeds still in it, and those seeds are quite sticky, and they they stick to the tree, and then they start growing. So they're growing off off the horse tree, if you will. So yeah, yeah. A lot more here. See it all hanging off in bunches. The 
decided to dispense with the tripod. I'm just going handheld on this one. I'm just following tracks through the bracken, hoping that there's a deer led up. You know, this time of night they'll be bedding down. Whether they're sticking to the groups or not, I don't know, but there's just a chance that there's you know gonna be a lone one knocking about. Hopefully if it's a buck, I'll be able to see them big antlers stuck up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, settings wise, minimum of 500, I'm on a 500 mil. Not ideal lugging this big thing around, it weighs a ton. I'm saving up for the 180 to 600 at the moment. So that'll be perfect for this kind of game. You know, wandering around, light, a light lens. It's got that, um, you know, that flexibility of the zoom but it's what it is isn't it it's still a cracking lens this f4 so it lets all that you know tons of light in i did toy with 300 uh the 300 28 but not enough for each to be honest not after coming yesterday and seeing how skittish these deer were if it you know it'd have been like a, a normal deer park if you will where you could you know practically get right up to them it'd have been a no-brainer i'd have brought that but I definitely needed that and you know with the birds as well I had the 1.4 converter on before as well so last hour of light now what are we on yeah it's just it's never perked up the light today it's uh, yeah not what it promised but hey you make the best of it don't you so we'll have a wander back we've probably got a mile to walk back to the car see if we can see any of those deer Last chance saloon this. I've just come round the corner and that that buck is there. I can see them telltale antlers again. Oh he's so he keeps putting his head up all the time. So wary. <clears throat> I don't know how we're gonna approach this one to be honest because the wind isn't in my favour but I'll have to give it a do. I'm gonna ditch the rucksack. Ditch the bag. That's it, we're just going handheld on this one. So, we'll get this up. Like I said, he's about, about 100, 100 metres in front.
Bloody hell. That were hard work. He's done one. <laughs> I managed to get a couple of pictures of him. But he was doing that thing again, he was browsing on the on the hawthorns. It must be a technique that he uses with the with their antlers. That were that was intense. That was intense. I can't believe how shy these deer are. They're a nightmare. Anyway, it's not been a lesson in much this one to be honest. <laughs> It's been, it's been hard work, it's been a tough day with not many pictures, and there's certainly not many pictures of the winter thrushes. If you're going to photograph, you know, field furs, red wings, you know, blackbirds, thrushes, that kind of thing, you're better off to try and isolate them if you can. Orchards are fantastic. I did one last year in a, a mate's orchard, and there were hundreds of birds, and I mean hundreds of birds, and they, you know, they're, they're just focused on that that one thing all the you know the uh winter winter fall apples you know the uh they're so concentrated you can't go wrong to be honest but here and especially this winter it just seems to be absolutely loaded with berry all the bushes wherever you look you know there's there's also in every every single bush is rammed so they're just they're going from you know one bush to another and such a big place this well, I'm making excuses, I suppose. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've not got any pictures, so I need some excuses. But um, no, it's been grand. It's been a, a cracking day out. The light's gone now. It's uh, it's dropped down below the horizon, so pretty short day, really. But I've enjoyed it. It's been cold, and I've uh, I've grafted for them pictures. But I've got a, a couple of different pictures of them, dear. Yeah, well, we'll definitely be coming back here sometime. So. That's it, I'm going to wrap it up, I'm going to get back, back up to Lanks tomorrow, um, yeah, so if you've liked it, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe if you haven't, thanks very much for watching, we'll see you on the next one, catch you later.